Okay, let's have a look at this terminal. To the lab notes. Testing uh, tests are ongoing, but so far we've had little success in adjusting the hibernation process to safely allow long-term subject storage and revival. Shortage of a may short of a major breakthrough, we'll have to hope they have more success next door with the reviving formula. Okay. Fingers, Captain. Thank you. Ah, <coughs> uh, so that must go in there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's this go? Okay, it goes through there. Never mind. Please make him regret it. I don't want to die. I'll just leave him. We got bigger problems on our hands. Okay. Oh, that's that door. Ah, okay, got it. Wow. <clears throat> Look at this place. Good God. I mean, that's just taking all that story scene to a totally different extreme. I mean, seriously. Wow. Huh. Must be all scientists or corporate big guns. Wow. I have human trial. In addition to the dimethyl, dimethyl sulfide to the current round of tests has returned to a the addition, oh, sorry, the addition of that of dimethyl sulfide to the current round of tests has resulted in some improvements. Subjects are showing improved circulation and increased neural activity. However, our firmware is still missing something. We are still unable to fully revive subjects from long-term hibernation, and removing this supply of dimethyl sulfides results in their rather excruciating result, excruciating death. The problem is compounded when we consider reviving and freezing subjects while multiple times over over their lives. To make matters worse, <coughs> excuse me, we've had a hard time securing additional dimethyl sulfide. We may have to make do with this with this batch. Transfer it. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Details. Lifetime employment program to repeat and provide few subjects in seven rotation results in inclusive prognosis cautiously optimistic. Okay. Let's transfer hundred percent. Oh shit, wow. We actually killed them in the process. Well, this colony is gonna starve anyway, so. Guess I'll put them out their misery, I suppose. Let's get that. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, hopefully, we don't have to shoot our way past them all. Hopefully. Must be a secret entrance. It certainly is. Like it.
Now I wonder if I have to shoot a way through. Be unfortunate, to say the least. We'll see what happens. Watch out! Oh crap! Oh crap! Code red! Code red! Code red! It's repulsed, yeah. Well, we did steal their stuff, so... Can't exactly blame them for that. <coughs> I think we just took our money back as well. Bits of them. Kind of awesome. What I am going to do now... Transport directly back to the ship. I... How be in combat? I think I was gonna say, like, what the hell? <coughs> Excuse me. First, we're gonna go see Lilia and, you know, go we'll confront her. Just explain that we didn't kill Eva Chartrand. Then we'll go get the good news. Oh, excuse me. Go get the good news to Phineas. Sure, I'd be quite pleased. To say the least. I believe you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. But once, let's get the pleasantries. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Oh? How'd you find my ship? Out of curiosity. There's exactly one vessel in all of Byzantium that looks like it dropped out of an Aetherwave drama. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. All right, convince me. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You know what? <clears throat> she's just concerned, I think. She's just realized that we've got this, you know, got this liquid. We're able to actually help Phineas. And Phine they, the board just don't like Phineas. They want him arrested. They want to lock him up, put him somewhere where he can't, you know, endanger, endanger their vision, their view of the future. And to be fair, there's a whole ship that should have been revived. But they're only focused on making sure the corporate executive survives. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, hold on. Uh, get a lot of noise on this signal. Could you uh, fuck off and never call back? You are making a serious mistake. As are you threatening us. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here. Right, send the Leo and face her. <coughs> Excuse me. 
We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Cool. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Thank you, Ada. It's very appreciative of you. Let's go in the Ocranelli for this. Just in case things get a tad ugly. Facing Lillian, trying to have two badass mercenaries. Side by side, ready to fire away. Fire us out of there. Sure, it won't come to that, but could never be too careful. She's not going to be happy, but she just has to accept it, fortunately. Well, that was quick. <clears throat> Got some bad news for you, Lilia, but we have our reasons. Is it done? I spoke to Chartrand, but unfortunately for you, I'm not gonna kill her. Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? I think we're going to a shootout if we go with this one. The crazy Lily not killing someone to feed your paranoia. Let's go with this a bit more positive. Look, you misunderstood Chartrand's research. She's our best shot at survival in Halcyon, which that's what I believe is true. You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. I like her, Captain. Let's go before we have to paint this office with her blood. Hmm. Agreed, Nyoka. <clears throat> and to be fair, Ellie, you've got an insurance plus coming in for you. That's going to pay major dividends for you. Stop complaining. <clears throat> Actually, better yet. straight to the ship <clears throat> crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen I am sure they are Right, let's go back to Phineas. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Cool. Actually. <clears throat> nah, I can always put that stuff back, can't I? Get Nyoka and Elos just in case. Just in case. If anyone wants to try and trail us and the agency likes you'll try to get our ship, so just in case he meets any resistance, <clears throat> I'll take him out. Oh. 
Seems to be okay, here, Phineas. I've kept myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Look. <clears throat> just for a second, let's just forget about the chemicals. Uh, the colony is actually on the verge of collapse, in case you hadn't noticed, Phineas. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Uh, Chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the Chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? Pretty much. I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Well, I found your chemicals in the Ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects, unfortunately. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Well, you've done something very similar, but we won't talk about that. Look, tragically I had to let the subjects die, but I brought all the chemicals they had. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Well, the boars tried to mutate uh, damage to human tissue during the revival process. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Pretty much. Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Focus, Phineas. Now it's going to collapse unless we do something. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. We need to think about this. There must be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists. The brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. Well, there, I mean, there could be a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the Hope into the system. I mean, it, it's unbelievably complex, but it, it could be done. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! Thank you. We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to route power for the unreliable, I'd imagine. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. 
If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. <laughs> I tend to agree there. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Well, just before we get started, there's maybe some questions we might have. Certainly. How can I help? Should we expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Okay. Just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. No more questions? I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Okay. I want to talk about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? Okay, never mind. Ah, that's all for now. Go wrong, yeah. Got sort of a point there. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Use lock picking or hacking. I think for this one we might want to use weaponry. Then go another one and hacking. <coughs> Ran it all off nicely. Alright then, let's head over to the Hope. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. I'm sure they are. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. Got it. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Okay. So what's going to happen if I skip the hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra 2. Oh, wonderful. Or the sun. Oh. That's yeah, all for now. Captain, 
I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. I'm sure it isn't. So come too Do far. Turn in one piece, Captain. Oh, I plan to, don't worry. Let's do this, Ellie and Yoko. The hope. Okay. Logs. Pre launch call. Okay. Manual. Ten years. Longest trip, Donna, and I have. Longest trip Donna and I ever took was a week long uh, sojourn into Silver Mountains. Silver Mountains. Into that Silver Mountains. Even that set her on edge. She's a homebody. She always was. She packed so much food we could have strand we could have been stranded on those damn rocks for a month and we probably would have been just fine. Udio sent us a team building seminar into the city once. They paid for everything. Donna still packed nutrient bars just in case the one bus broke down. No, oh, fairly sensible I suppose. It's gonna take the ship ten years to reach Alcyon, an entire decade. It's a good thing UDL provided the rations. Else she might have dumped her entire life savings into mixed nuts and freeze dried meat. Oh boy. <laughs> Automated audio transcript. <clears throat> this is it, folks. Say goodbye to oh, the old blue, eh? Yeah. If everyone wants to. Good riddance. Where's the bitter, Razzy? She's been a good home. Give me a spaceship any day of the week. Well... Well, Hunt, we'll see how you feel a, a year in. So, um, moment of silence? Or should we make a toast? Anything? It feels weird leaving Earth in the rearview mirror. No, from now on, we look only forward. Powered. A shitload of days over to you. <laughs> Ooh. Getting worse and worse by the day. Okay. Cool. Something about waking a derelict ship puts me on edge, Captain. Hope you know what you're doing. Well, no real turning back there, is it? Nice going. Gold, okay. So I rat it. Message exchange. Darling, I've just had a frightening epiphany. What's wrong? I've just realized that we're nearing our 50s. We'll be nearing our 50s in Ryan Halcyon. Yes? But our Lucas, when they wake him up, he'll be six. 
By the time he's out of school, he will be near 60. I feel as though time is still on... I feel as though time is still on from me. Oh, okay. We'll work on the ship when, when he graduates. He'll be... He'll work on the ship when he graduates. We'll see him in. I hope so, Will. You gotta help me, Alexei. I'm gonna get go mental. What's the problem? The food. Our rations? Are you having digestion issues? No, 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 no. I just... I hate boars, Doctor. I hate it. I can't spend the next 10 years eating it. I thought you had an actual medical problem, Frank. I do, it's disgusting. Get back to your post. You're wasting my time. Come on. There's gotta be something you can prescribe. You'll get used to it. All your stuff. Up to you. Oh, God. Charming. Ooh. That's gonna move on. Thank you. Hey Rez. Yeah? Lord, off a round of darts? Yeah, but I've got a b bridge duty. I can't, buzz me in. Sure, don't cheat this time. Listen, it's not cheating if you don't get caught. I'm certain to check, spent the deck all day. Okay, you know what? I'll find Lexi and play the game with him instead. <laughs> I'll let you read that for yourself. Three, two, one. It's not critically important, so... Great work. Anytime. If you're experienced in errors, you should talk to a mechanical engineer. Error. This unit is not experiencing errors. You just said error twice. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. It's on. No thanks. Where does this lead? onto a lost colony ship and skip it across the system. What could go wrong? Ah, oh, nothing really, just the usual. <clears throat> Old entry level. I don't know what the void just happened, so I'm writing it down in case I'm going insane. Pulling a guy out of a pod and his arm got all clammy. Rubbery almost. I poked at it for a bit and it started to, f started to fucking liquefy. Like it was made of water. Stuffed him back in as quick as I could, but the rest of him couldn't go. But the rest of him. But the rest of him ain't in a good way. Don't think he'll make it. This may not be a fucking trend after all this, we're gonna starve anyway. Boy. That's not a good start. At all a good start. Any 
Mantis. Mod removal. Grit. I know. Left drunk out forever. Just keep. Poor okay. bastards. They're never gonna wake up. The least we could do is bury them. Is he is a happy so we're gonna have to shoot him down, but that's not really the case, luckily. Whoa. Begin audio log. Is this thing working? I said begin audio log. Damn it. This is uh this is uh P well. Yes, let's go with that. What continues on test subject 112? Revived to the hibernation bay 8. Time of extraction? Uh, let's say two and a half hours ago. Time of death? Six minutes prior. Explosive cell death. My arch, nem my arch nemesis. Haunting my every attempt at reviving our frozen colonists. Making a mockery of my procedures. I tried every combination of, of every chemical available to me. Attempting every va variation of every possible throwing, pr throwing procedure. A gradual melt. A flash thaw. Extreme fists, extremities first, brain first. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Four hours of sleep in the last 72? Can you still... Can still hear screaming in my nightmares. Test subject 112. Real name, Harley Stanton. Age 39. Enjoyed singing. I'm sorry, Harley. I couldn't save you. Be an audio log. As I can say the words, begin audio log. <laughs> what a ridiculously inconvenient program. What happens if I accidentally say f phrase log? Say phrase audio log. <laughs> Don't know why I'm talking to a fro to a frozen colonist. Losing it, Phineas. Focus, focus. Come on, make the incision. There we go. Excellent. Well, well, my frigid friend, you disobeyed the mo the moratium the moratium on ingesting food the six thirty six hours prior to hibernation, didn't you? <laughs> the moratorium. Huh. Oh, okay. That must be the thing they say. Like, don't eat before. You don't eat before this, don't drink before that, or whatever. Uh, thank the law for disposable gloves. Steady now. Steady. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Damn slippery scalpel. Who makes these anyway? Space's choice? Alright, I couldn't have choice. I'm going in. Our communications through the arrival. Can you hear me, guys? I error. Crew data not found. Identify yourself. Statement is false. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. Will do, thanks. Jimmy, this is here. Wow. So many. Pods, I mean. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit. I am curious to wake him. Status. Auxiliary, good. <clears throat> Logs. I'll let you read this. Stop and pause it and read it, otherwise I'm going to move on. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I think I'm the only one left. 
I don't know what Captain Hunt did down there, but he hasn't come back. And they haven't used the drill, and I'm done. The course is set. I'm down to the last day of food, and I don't want to die like Donna did. Fly true, Hope. Go, Ada. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling. But it'll do. Let's skip the hope. I'm ready. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Mm, since you... Since there's no tune tone to your voice not really skip to the hope skip the hope to Terra 2 jump starting the skip drive destination set to the rings of Terra 2 do it in case I don't get another chance to say it it's been interesting captain doing it I mean affirmative skipping the hope in three two one ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. We're braced. Yes! We made it! Oh good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. I was just about to do exactly that. Ugh. I feel like my stomach's still back where the ship used to be. I need a hard drink and a long nap. I don't suppose... Oh, more in the codex? Oh damn, it can't... Can't fast travel there. Oh well. Oops.
Well, we're just gonna get the hell out of there. Most important thing, quite honestly, that point. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. The trans- Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible. You see How correctly? Of assistance? <sighs> Don't worry about Goodbye. it. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Or would <laughs> you like to do the honors? That's all right. Do return in one piece. I think we'll get... Not have Ellie. I think we'll have a couple of machine gun specialists here. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I want to test out Sam. Captain. <clears throat> I'm just curious if he's if he's a total badass and we have to go rescue uh, Phineas, then because I know Tartarus is a prison, so they're taking him there, the, and Sam is pretty awesome. We'll take him there, hundred percent. Well, well, well. Ho ho ho! Damn! Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> oh no you don't. Oh, no you don't. 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 No you don't, bitch. Piss off. Hell yeah. If we're going to Tartarus, Sam, you are on board 100%. Oh, hell yes. Damn. That's some serious fight you got, buddy. Awesome. Love it. Okay. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. One foot one six. Wow. Sex. Duration of status effect companion abilities. Go this one. Long for winter. Yep, range damage, hell yes. So on science weapons.
Actually, that'd be good. Restore per kill. Yes. <clears throat> what are we lo uh, losing? There it is. Using. Don't use that. That's long guns. That's all long guns. Okay, that's interesting. That's handgun. That's heavy. Okay. Might go uh, long guns then. And handgun, just in case. Cool. Near 35%. Handgun sway, better handgun sway, and better critical chance, 194%. Excellent. <clears throat> like it. You know what, I'll tell you what, I think it's a great place to take a break and uh, have a look at that. Get intel on what's going on with Phineas and where he's gone and go and rescue him. So, catch you next time.